come to the first morning session. And it's my pleasure to introduce our first speaker, Makoto Tsukota from uh, Osaka City University. He's going to talk about some recent topics of home hydrodynamics and prevalence. Thank you course. very much. So, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Makoto Tsubota from Osaka City University. Uh, I'm talking, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the organizers for inviting me to this wonderful conference and give me a chance to give you this talk here. Uh, today, I'm talking about uh, recent topics of quantum power, quantum hydrodynamics and the powers. I'd like to talk about both topics of the supercritical helium and cold atoms. And uh, uh, in each topic, first, I'd like to show you some overview of the research project. And uh, the latter part, I'd like to show you our brand new results. So, so this is a, a some summary of my talk. So this is a thermal counter flow. And uh, first, uh, we performed a fully coupled dynamics with the two fluids in a channel. So it's just difficult to see, but the vortex pump, this is a counter flow. And uh, the, these vortex becomes closed and becomes a tangle. And uh, through the mutual friction, the normal fluid velocity field is uh, distorted. And uh, this is another uh, way another case. Uh, this is the local tunnel around the heat spot. The, this red, red part is a heat spot and uh, uh, because of the spherical sound counter flow, the such kind of vortex tunnel grows uh, around the heat spot. The latter part is a uh, uh, 3D simulation of a BDC turbulence in a cylindrical box forest. So this is uh, very close to the recent research of the Cambridge University experiments. So this is a gross test simulation. So uh, after starting, starting the condensate, the uh, such kind of instability occurs, and the gradually the, uh, this part becomes a problem like this. So this is closely related with the uh, experiments by the Cambridge group. I will discuss uh, this part in the lab. I will discuss this problem in the latter part of my talk. This is a common state. So, so uh, let me start with the introduction. What is quantum tolerance? Quantum tolerance <coughs> means a tolerance in quantum condensed fluids. And uh, historically, we have two systems. The main stage of quantum tolerance are uh, one is the supercritical helium since 1950. The other is the atomic force Einstein context since the discovery of 1995. And uh, uh, we have two models available for numerical simulation of quantum tunnels. One is a gross test model, which is used for atomic PECs. The other is a, a world experiment model, which is used for a supercritical helium. And this is a typical quantum tunnels. This is a simulation. Of the gross test model. This is the number of contact forces. So uh, we'd like to start with the business of uh, uh, supercritical helium. The first topic is the thermal counter flow in a channel. So hist historically, we have several stages of the numerical uh, calculation for these topics. The early stages, previous simulation for the uh, homogeneous normal fluid flow. So uh, during the 1980s to uh, 2010. But uh, about 10 years ago, excellent visualization experiments appeared, which changed the stage of the numerical simulation. And the uh, new simulation for the incongenious normal fluid flow focus started uh, since the 2013. And uh, currently, the new simulation of the fully coupled fluid model. So uh, our physics is, of course, based on the uh, famous two-fluid model. Two-fluid model was proposed by Sander Landau a uh, long time ago. You don't need a detailed explanation here. And uh, uh, the thermal counter flow was the most important uh, system for the quantum hydrodynamics of supercritical helium. And uh, uh, you know, the heat is indicted here, and the normal fluid flows from the, from the left to the right, and the superflow flows oppositely, and here appears a vortex tunnel causing the dissipation of the system through the mutual friction. This picture was uh, proposed by a long time ago by Richard Feynman, 
and uh, confirmed experimentally by Joe Biden. And uh, uh, Joe Biden proposed the violent, what we call the violent equation, describing the time development of the virus vortex line density L. This part is a uh, growth, and this part is a decay. And uh, here, the VNS is a relative velocity. And uh, the question alpha and chi 2 are temperature dependent coefficients. So uh, the steady state is given by the competition between the growth and the decay as like this. And the point is the square root of L is proportional to VNS. And uh, this relation is confirmed by several experiments and uh, used as a criterion for simulations. So uh, let me brief explain the board experiment model. So board experiment model is represented by the parameter as something like this. So in the case of superheated helium-4, the vortex core size is very, very thin. So a uh, vortex experiment model is useful. So vortex experiment makes the superheated velocity by the Biot-Savar law. And the uh, inertia is very small. So every point S on the filament moves with its local superfluid velocity. But uh, when we try to obtain the uh, superfluid velocity at the vortex, on the vortex filament, so you, we can find easily that uh, the, because of this term, the, uh, the, this integral becomes divergent. So, the, so what to do? There are several methods to avoid this divergence. But uh, in our community, community we usually use the uh, pro Pro, uh, pro, uh, procedure uh, proposed by uh, Arms and Hammer a long time ago. And uh, by introducing some kind of the Biosabar integral is divided into two terms. One is the local terms, the other is the non local terms. And uh, uh, at a finite temperature, of course, we have to consider the mutual friction, which is the interaction between the normal fluid and the voltage core. And uh, uh, the approximation neglecting the, this non local term is called the LIA, localized induction approximation. So, certainly, the, this non local term makes the theoretical analysis and the numerical calculation very heavy. So, in the previous calculation, the, uh, the, this non local term was neglected. So, uh, Schwarz, Schwarz performed the very, very pioneering numerical works in 1970s and 80s. And uh, uh, he obtained a such kind of steady state by the world experiment model by using the uh, robust LIA. This is a, a, a typically for the periodic boundary condition for all three directions. So this is a, a, a simulation. Um, uh, this movie was made by our group, but uh, this is exactly the same as that was performed by Schwartz. So uh, they obtained, he obtained such kind of uh, vortex time. However, however, uh, from the beginning, this sort of simulation had some non-trivial serious problems. One is the vortex reconnection were modeled artificial ad hoc. So uh, vortex reconnection itself is a very, very interesting topic, which was uh, which was discussed by uh, yesterday by Luca and. Uh, in the in the vortex experiment model, uh, which is uh, recollection is a model artificial, so uh, <coughs> problem is something like that. So it is not so trivial where uh, quantized velocity reconnect or not. So vortex experiment model uh, cannot answer the, this question. However, uh, the simulation by the gross capacity model uh, proposed by Copley Levy a long time ago show the vortex reconnection. So the scientists in our community believe the quantized velocities can uh, make a vortex re reconnection. So the but the second part is probably more serious. So all calculation was performed by LIA. As a result, Schwartz used uh, some artificial mixing procedure to obtain the uh, steady state. So uh, this is a Schwartz procedure. So when the vortex tangle becomes developed, the uh, most of the tangle becomes perpendicular to the uh, flow field. So Schwartz uh, rotate the half of the ball seeds by right angle with some frequency in order to obtain a steady, steady state. Of course, this is not physics. This is uh, some artificial procedure. However, uh, 2010, our group 
uh, make the uh, simulation by the fluvius about law. So uh, starting from the six vortex rings, we uh, this is a period boundary condition for all three directions, and uh, uh, such kind of uh, vortices develop like this. So statistical steady state were obtained without the artificial mixing procedure. So here, uh, I'd like to compare the results between the uh, LIA and the fluvius about law. So uh, all parameters are same. The only difference is the uh, uh, LIA and the fluvius about law. What happens? We'd like to show how, what happens. So let's start. So at the beginning, uh, the, these two procedures seem to show the similar dynamics. And uh, in the LIA, the vortices seem to be just dense. Just more days. But uh, as time goes by, as just so, uh, uh, yes, that's right. As time goes by, uh, you can find uh, in this case the forces uh, form a uh, layer structure, not uh, homogeneous towers. So this is what the Schwartz observed. So Schwartz introduced the uh, artificial mixing procedure in order to destroy the this, this degenerate state. So uh, uh, this is a quantitative comparison with the observations. We obtained a such kind of steady state by the previous law, law, and uh, certainly the square root of L is approximately proportional to the VNS. And uh, we obtained the uh, uh, coefficient gamma as a function of temperature. This is our result. This is uh, uh, some typical experimental uh, results uh, made by uh, Childers and, and Tuff a long time ago. So quantitative agreement is uh, uh, good. So this is a happy story. However, the story does not, uh, does not end. So about 10 years ago, uh, uh, excellent visualization experiments appeared in our community. So uh, currently, the, uh, uh, several groups may uh, continue the experiment, Perry, Tarpas, and Pratt. This, this is a typical paper. So uh, probably the, uh, this paper first appeared, it was very striking. And uh, uh, Dan Lasrop's tools introduced solid hydrogen particles. And uh, uh, the hydrogen particles are trapped by quantum force. And uh, probably you know very well, and uh, this is a, a recollection procedure here again. So here is a vortex recollection. I don't explain the detail, but uh, uh, such kind of visualization are performed by the Maryland group. And after that, the Tarvasi group uh, used the metastable helium <coughs> molecules in order to uh, <coughs> make the, some visualization experiments. And probably this part will be described in detail by Weibo on Friday talk. And the point is that this leading two molecules follow the normal fluid velocity profile. This is important. And uh, three years ago, uh, Taras groups made uh, another important contribution. So this is the profile of the normal fluid flow. So when, uh, the, the experiments are performed for the square channel. And uh, no heat flux, nothing happens. But if we increase the heat flux, the, the normal fluid becomes a positive flow. Like this. this is the positive. And uh, if we increase the heat flux furthermore, the uh, tail of the normal flow, uh, uh, positive flow becomes flat. The other side, this is a tail flattened flow. Such kind of tail flattened flow has never been observed or reported, even in a classical field. And if we increase the heat flux furthermore, the uh, uh, turbulent normal flow becomes profile becomes turbulent there. <clears throat> so uh, this experiment needs two kinds of new simulation. One is a uh, uh, system with solid boundary condition in a channel. The other is a couple of times of two fluids. So first, this is a uh, vortex channel in a square channel. So the flow is perpendicular along this direction, and uh, uh, some. Uh, vortex is uh, expand from the central part to the uh, this is the third vault. So this is a inhomogeneous vortex standard. And the vortices uh, seems to form uh, some superfluid boundary, boundary layer near the walls. 
And the similar calculations is performed by Andre Bagares before our research. But they uh, mostly they consider the uh, parallel place case. So, on current stage of the numerical simulation is something like that. Previous simulations the, is just one way. Namely, the, uh, we consider the mutual friction from the normal fluid to super fluid, but we neglect the kickback from the super fluid to normal fluid. But uh, we need the simulation both ways. But uh, this simulation is not so easy because the uh, world experiment model is a uh, Lagrangian and the Lambert Stokes equation, normal fluid, or radial. So it's not so easy to compromise them. So uh, in, such kind of story, the uh, very important uh, work was performed by a long time ago by, by Davis Kipotius and Carol Baring and Dave Summers. They considered the uh, fully coupled dynamics and they uh, uh, discussed the triple vortex ring structure. I didn't explain the detail here. And uh, uh, we have several uh, studies go along the, this direction. The Luca and the Carol Barnes group uh, performed the uh, uh, fully, fully coupled in the two dimensional simulation. And the uh, Israel groups also consider the uh, uh, two uh, couple of dynamics in the parallel trace and uh, by using some aver average of the, by using some uh, mean normal velocity. And uh, uh, our groups perform the fully coupled dynamics. So the problem is something like that. Both, uh, both experimental model is a Lagrangian, and the uh, normal fluid is a uh, Eulerian. And the point is how to estimate, calculate this FNS from the vortex. So we know the uh, mutual friction per unit length. So uh, we use the such kind of mesh, and we count the vortex lines along each small volume, and we calculate, we integrate, integrate uh, the, this mutual friction for each cell. And we use this uh, coarse graining uh, mutual friction into the, this Navier Stokes equation. Probably this is the uh, only thing we can do for around this simulation. So, this is a couple of dynamics of a uh, two fluid model. So, uh, the uh, vortex tangle becomes tense, the normal fluid, fluid is just uh, seems to be just uh, distorted. So, this is the normal fluid. Uh, for uh, you know, the profile, lambda profile. So you can find uh, the red color is changed. So what decided the deformation of the normal fluid velocity profile? So uh, in the case of a number of the equations, the transition between the lambda and the turbulent flow is decided by a Reynolds number, which is a, a ra uh, ratio of the uh, inertial term and the viscous term, something like that. Then what happens if the mutual friction of FNS is added? In this case, uh, uh, deformation of a VNS, VNS is determined by the competition between the viscous term and the mutual friction term. So we introduce another non-dimensional constant, something like this. And uh, uh, if you use the sum relations, we can find that this new parameter, phi is proportional to the vortex line length density L. Actually, uh, the similar analysis was performed by uh, Carol Barangis, Merotan Barangis, uh, about 10 years ago. And they performed the uh, linear stability analysis of the uh, normal fluid uh, profile. And they found the critical value is uh, about seven. So we uh, made a simulation. So uh, we considered uh, uh, we, we consider the change of the central part of the normal fluid velocity. And uh, as the time goes by, the, uh, this central part is reduced, and uh, uh, these guys are changing the velocity. And uh, we simultaneously ob monitor, uh, observe the, uh, this parameter phi. And certainly, if phi exceeds 30 or 40 something, the serious deformation is occurred. So, we think that this phi is uh, useful for characterizing the deformation of the normal fluid velocity profile. I will skip this part. So, uh, but yes, uh, so it, just non realistic. We try to get larger deformation. So, uh, we keep this part and we uh, amplify this part C times. Then, the, uh, something like that. If we increase the uh, uh, factor C, the, we, uh, the normal fluid causes a very, very serious deformation. 
So this is a, a simulation of the normal fluid velocity field. So or something like that, the uh, normal fluid causes a very, very serious deformation. So this is our result, and this is the uh, uh, experiment. But probably you can find the quantitative agreement is not so good. So in our cases, the uh, whole, whole, whole profile of the normal fluid becomes flat. <coughs> but in the observation, the uh, way God says, the central part keeps the lambda profile. The other parts have become flat. So quantitative agreement is not very good. But anyway, by the fully coupled dynamics, we, we, we could show the uh, serial normal fluid velocity. And uh, oh, I have oh, five minutes. Yes, uh, let me show you the localized quantum turbulence. Local quantum turbulence are a spherical heat spot. The uh, preliminary calculation was performed by Emil Varga in Prague, who made a presentation in the Tokyo QFS in the last year. But recently, uh, we performed a, a similar calculation, vortex tunnel around the hot sphere and vortex tunnel around the point heater. So a detail will be uh, presented by uh, Soske Inui in Friday's talk. This is a hot sphere in the spherical counter flow, the uh, vortex tunnel uh, developed like this. In the case of a point, point heater, that's a similar case, uh, something like that. So this is uh, 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 our system, bulk helium two, and the uh, spherical symmetrical thermal counter flow. Then uh, we calculate the uh, uh, growth of the vortex tunnel, and it's very interesting. This is the time development of the vortex tunnel length density, and uh, this is the distance from the center. And uh, as the vortex tunnel develops, the uh, uh, vortex tunnel length density develops to the outwards. So uh, this is just preliminary. Of course, this behavior depends strongly on the uh, relative velocity and the temperature or mutual friction. So it's quite interesting. We can discuss, for example, the, how the violence equation is effective for such kind of inhomogeneous cases. So in this case, the force is from some shell structure. So I don't have enough time. So. <coughs> Just let me skip to the. Uh, of yes. Let me go to the. <coughs> cold part. Cold, uh, atoms are part of the cold atoms. So, uh, uh, various kinds of tolerance, quantum tolerance in, uh, in cold atoms. For example, the system is uh, two-dimensional or three-dimensional, and we can consider a single component, large component, the spin of BC, the spin of the coupling, and the vortex turbulence, wave turbulence, spin turbulence, and their mixture. And uh, after the uh, discovery of cold atoms, most reports were performed for the uh, uh, vortex lattice under the rotation. This is our old numerical simulation. So this is a gross testing model. So we start rotating the uh, B seeds, and uh, the, uh, some both seeds enter the uh, condensate from the surface. This is a famous uh, experiment performed by Jean Daribar's group in Paris, and uh, the agreement is very good. So uh, there are some methods to how to create a quantum tunnels in trapped B seeds. So uh, phase printing, or uh, manipulating the trapping potential, or starting the condensate, something like that. So uh, we, we propose uh, uh, making a quantum towers by combining two rotations. First, uh, we trap the system in an anisotropic uh, potential. Then we rotate the system around the x-axis, then next to the z-axis. Then this is the gross capacity model. And uh, we calculate the uh, incompressive kinetic energy spectrum. Certainly, the, uh, uh, the, the spectrum seems to show some power like this. So after that, uh, several experiments appeared in the community. This is a, a Brazilian, Van der Bauer's contribution for three dimensional towers. This is the uh, Arizona, Brian Anderson's groups. This is the uh, South Korean Souls, uh, Shin groups. These guys succeeded in making the three dimensional or two dimensional towers. But now recently, 
uh, three years ago, very, very extern, uh, experience appeared uh, by, from the Cambridge. And uh, uh, these, these scientists succeeded in making the both uh, trap the bosses in a box potential, cylindrical box potential, and they extend the system. And uh, by the time of the flight experiments, uh, they observed uh, such kind of power. Probably the uh, Nianamo is here. Okay. So he, he made a talk in the, this morning about this topic. So the pro, um, uh, and after the, this work, we performed uh, another work. So we observed that the point is that. Uh, we observe the uh, turbulent cascade forces. So uh, we pump in here. If the turbulent flow, turbulent flow front goes to the uh, larger uh, large case, uh, it goes to the, uh, we can observe the such kind of case. So uh, how to excite the turbulence? So in this case, the, we excite the system something like that by oscillating potential. And uh, uh, yes, the, the idea is very simple. The initial state, the particles here, no losses. However, if the uh, uh, kinetic energy of the each particle exceeds the potential depth, namely the uh, particle, wave number k exceeds this critical value, the, uh, uh, these guys, these particles are allowed to escape from the potential. Is it possible or not? Ah, yes, it's possible. If the uh, uh, from cascade front propagates the higher wave number, it exceeds this body, so they, these guys are out of the scheme. This is an interesting story, but very, very recently we performed another story. So, this paper uh, proposed a lot of interesting thing. So, we are uh, interested in the anisotropy of the towers. So, these scientists observed the, some anisotropic parameter of the towers as a function of the exciting amplitude. So, uh, the point is if the exciting amplitude is very small, the turbulence is an isotope. But if, if it becomes strong, the turbulence becomes isotope. Then we perform the uh, neural simulation. This is the simulation is the three dimensional. But the, the, this is a, a, a two dimensional uh, plot. And uh, if the uh, excitation is very small, the uh, such kind of turbulence, this is still some, some isotope. Uh, but if the excitation is very, very strong, the uh, Density becomes very, very uh, isolated towers like this. Also, we plot the uh, <coughs> diameter of the Fourier component, and uh, this is a very small excitation case. This is a Fourier component diameter, and uh, in this case, here is a bosonian condensate, and uh, they gradually, gradually expand. Uh, but uh, in a very, very strong excitation, the here is a bosonian condensate. But ex expand uh, rapidly, and the more I stop. Probably, I think this is uh, what was observed by the experiments. But, uh, but still, still, this is just preliminary. So, okay. So, I don't have enough time. So, uh, lots of interesting topics, but uh, finally, let's summarize. Yes, uh, I'd like to talk about the uh, uh, March component BECs, but I don't have enough time, so let me make some advertisement. So this is a very, very new result. We consider the uh, uh, Osaka Bosses formation in two components, two dimensional uh, BEC. And uh, uh, the Bosses of two components are very separate depending on the parameters. So we, uh, we obtained some new phase diagram. Uh, in the two component pieces. So, one saga voltage information or voltage phase separation. The detail will be uh, presented by Junji Kahan uh, and the project. So, let me summarize my talk here. That's something like that. Thank you very much for your attention. I think we are out of time. Yes. Yeah, you still have 10 minutes. One huh? 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yeah. Yeah. Your talk started at 9.15. Oh. The clock in the back is not <laughs> I Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, you have OK. <laughs> I made a mistake. OK. Yeah, that's right. Ha ha. OK, then I, I got, uh, uh, sorry, I made a mistake. OK. Uh, 
I talk about another topic yes. This is also, uh, this is the genesis of supervisory theory, both experiment model. This is a very, very new result. And uh, we performed the numerical simulation for the Oshi Osaka State University. Hideo Yarrow School. You remember, uh, Osaka State University, Hideo Yarrow schools used two vibrating wires. And uh, one wire, one wire uh, uh, works as a, a generator of a power. And uh, it makes a uh, carbons and uh, uh, emit the vortex rings. And uh, the other wire uh, works as a detector of the uh, vortex rings. And uh, if the detector uh, catches the wire, the, its velocity is reduced. So they can obtain the, uh, <laughs> they, they say, oh, we, we obtain the uh, vortex rings. And uh, uh, the Osaka University groups obtain such kind of important results. So this is, a, uh, they observe the probability of the detector. The horizontal axis refers to time. The vertical axis refers to the one minus P. P is the probability of the wire uh, detector catching the, catching the vortex rings. So uh, what does it mean? So the, in this case, the small vortex rings moves very fast because of its high uh, self-induced velocity. And the large vortex rings moves very slowly. So uh, at the beginning, and this part comes, comes from the uh, small vortex rings. And this part comes from the uh, large vortex rings. So uh, this, uh, and uh, the Yanus group observed uh, this uh, uh, experimental results obey the Poisson distribution like this. Poisson distribution is uh, completely random. So what does it mean? So from the small, small vortex rings and large vortex rings, the, these guys means a, some sort of a self similar procedure. So is it true or not? So uh, we try to uh, confirm that uh, this, this is uh, by the numerical simulation. So uh, in previous cases, we performed the several simulation for, uh, for, for the vortex tunnel uh, created by the vibrating structure, for example, the, the left one is the vibrating, how the vibrating spheres make a vortex tunnel when they catch the, some reverent velocity uh, from the other wires, something like that. And the right figure is a collaboration with the Lancaster groups. So Lancaster group made a, a, a experiment of the grid towers. And uh, here is a, a vortex rings uh, coming from, from the grid. So if the vortex rings comes very frequently, very dense, these guys make a vortex tunnel like this. But uh, currently, we are interested in the uh, statics of the emission of a vortex rings, vortex rings emitted from the vortex, uh, vortex tunnel. What to do? So oh, this is our new idea. Okay. Yes, so uh, we try to uh, reverse it right from the right hand side and left hand side. And here appears a vortex tunnel. And uh, these guys emit lots of vortex rings. And we monitor what kind of vortex rings coming. So uh, this is another uh, interesting result, the supervelocity field. In this case, certainly the very large structure appears, but uh, this is uh, just another reason. And uh, uh, here is a vortex sun, and the uh, vortex rings emitted from the vortex sun. And we monitor, uh, we monitor what kind of vortex rings appear uh, as a function of the direction. So uh, we obtained uh, some, uh, depending on the situation, we obtained some Poisson distribution like this. And we have to uh, uh, relate the, this uh, Poisson distribution with, uh, to the fractal dimension of the vortex tunnel. And a long time ago, there uh, was dealers and Parabolic schools uh, calculated the fractal dimension of the vortex tunnel. 
And uh, they made a calculation in the 1.3 Kelvin, 1.95 Kelvin. And uh, uh, they obtained a fractal dimension, something like this, uh, 1.5 or 1.6, something like this. And uh, uh, they calculated the uh, uh, fractal dimension by the box counting method. We used the same method from, from this case. And uh, we obtained the uh, uh, fractal dimension, something like that, 1.98. Uh, sorry, 1.92. And uh, uh, now our next business is uh, how to how to connect this fractal dimension to the Poisson distribution. So this is uh, just preliminary, and uh, oh, we have still probably 10, 10 minutes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yes, then, then probably we have still five minutes. Uh, let me talk about the March component BCs. So uh, the advantage of uh, BCs called atoms is that we can realize the March component BCs. So most uh, is the hydrodynamics in, in this case. This topic is very common to the superconductivity helium three or super superconductivity with non symmetry or something like this. So for example. Uh, the most important question, what happens to the abricots of lattice for the two component or three component VCs? So it's not so pretty. But uh, we, uh, we uh, in, in this case, we solve the two component VCs by uh, uh, consider the two component VC by solving the coupled gross test equation, something like that. G11, G22 refers to the intra component interaction, G12 is the inter component. Um, so, uh, for example, the phase diagram of the vortex state is not trivial. So, uh, the horizontal axis refers to the G12. The vertical axis is, is a normalized rotational frequency. So, this shows a very, very complicated phase diagram. So, uh, in this part, the two BC is mixed. In this part, two BC is a phase separated. And uh, this part uh, makes the triangular lattice, and this part is a square lattice. This part is just more complicated. So this is a, a coexistence of a triangular lattice and a tri triangular lattice. So each component, each component forms a triangular lattice. And the, but, but because of the repulsive interaction between them, they are just shifted. But uh, if we increase the, uh, increase the interaction, the surprisingly, the, uh, these guys change to a square axis like this. So uh, I'll skip this part. And uh, fortunately, the such kind of square axis was, was observed by the Gira Eric Connors group by using the two component VCs. So uh, you can find, I don't explain the detail here, up here, here, uh, they observed certainly square axis as predicted by us. But uh, there are lots of interesting topics for the two component VCs. So, this is a, a three dimensional two component quantum tunnels. We just solved the uh, two component drop test model by the counter flow of two superfluids. So, in this case, it first appears the solitons, and the solitons are uh, developed to a vortex roots. They eventually uh, developed to a vortex tunnel like this. Or, for example, the, this is another interesting topic, so spin turbulence in spinal boson. <laughs> Sorry. Did you go to sleep? No, no, no. Yes. Yes. So this is a spin tolerance, and the uh, spins are distorted uh, spatially and temporary, and uh, we uh, calculate the spectrum of the spin kinetic energy, which seems to be shown uh, minus seven times power law, which is different from the uh, five times. Or uh, we can consider the whole of wave tolerance. In the early stage is something like that, but the late stage is, uh, uh, I don't know what happens, but anyway. Anyway, we're going to stop. Okay.
All right, let's thank the speaker again. I'll show you the lots of topics here. Go ahead. So, uh, a couple of them. So, you say calculation that you have a box, a blanket box, and then you want to out. Ah, uh, yes. What is the, what was the question? What is this? What is the past? Yes. Why do you want to calculate? Yeah, pa past. Yes. So let me see. Right. You said this case. Yes. So, uh, of course, there are several methods to making a vortex tunnel. Yes. And uh, we try to uh, making a vortex. Uh, yes. Uh, we, uh, we, we try to make a dense vortex tunnel in the, some central part in the bulk. And of course, this is not isotropic, not, not isotropic, but uh, uh, if making a vortex tunnel, something like that, dense tunnel. Uh, this, this part, is, we think, are very similar to the, what was done by the experiment. The experiment makes uh, such kind of violet wires. So uh, probably the, this, uh, this is very similar to the violet wire experiment. Then, the uh, if the vortex rings emitted from the vortex tunnel, uh, probably the such kind of vortex rings maybe uh, simulate the uh, vortex rings captured captured by the detectors. Yeah, what I say this is brown uh, uh, box rounded. What's the purpose of that? Uh, this is the, uh, this is just for eye guides. Eye guide, yes. But uh, here is a uh, vortex rings up, uh, injected vortex rings here from the opposite side. Yes. <coughs> so the purpose of the box for the, is to inject vortex yes. rings at the end and then they slide in the box with right. this right. visualization of roughly where the situation yes. is. The red vortex ring is not a piece of Any other question? Go ahead. I'm curious about the multi component. Uh, yes, yes. So you see a separation of uh, uh, the two kind of yes components. yes but uh, the two components do they mix together well yes exactly that's a very important point yes <coughs> thank you very much for the question yes so this is a phase diagram. So oh, this is a G12 normalized G. And uh, if G12 is larger than G, the you know the two component two components are very separate, right? And uh, if G12 is smaller than G, the condensates are miscible. <coughs> However, uh, here's uh, some critical value 0.6. And uh, if the G12 is smaller than 0.6, the each condensate makes uh, Makes a whole saga process. However, uh, if the in this region, the uh, something like that, the vortex phase is separate because of the interaction between the uh, forces in, of each component. Detail will be uh, discussed by Jewish Kahan in the Friday. This is the answer to the All right, any other question? If not, let's thank the speaker again. One more announcement. Let, let oh, do me. you want this recorded? Yeah, my please. Uh, yes, okay. So I told you. So uh, in January of 2020, uh, we organized a conference of all kinds in Osaka City University. So we cover the many fields of harvest, quantum harvest, cluster harvest, astrophysics harvest, cluster harvest. So uh, if you are interested, uh, please come to Osaka in the January. So uh, I'm sending some invitation for you, probably in the next month. Thank you very much.